Let's see how we can create a scatter graph with data labels for the case study that we have previously discussed. In this one, we ranked new products for development and we got the following results. So we've got number of points for each and every type of product. So for example, Cottage has got 2.4 and then Shadar got 2.8. And we also estimated the total value of the market. And we would like to have those things on a graph. And we would also like to have the things which we have on the left. So the names of the different products groups as a data labels. And this is what we're going to do now. What we do here in Excel can be repeated, obviously, also in PowerPoint. So let's first select the two columns. Then you go to insert above and then you pick the scatter graph. You pick the first one and we have the first thing done. So we've got the graph. However, as you can see, there are no data labels. So we will do it in a minute. So you press first the data points, then you right click the mouse. And what you will see here, it's add data labels. You press it. Now we've got the data labels, but obviously it's showing the values from the column D and not what we want. So we want to have names here. So we have to work on that now. So again, you press this time around the data labels. So not the points, but the data labels. Then you right click the mouse and you will see here that we've got option format data labels. You press it. What you will see now is that many will appear on the right, which is called format data labels. And here we have plenty of options. We're going to use the first one. So value from cells. And now we have to select from where he should take the data labels. So we want him to take them from this area from B4 to B10. We select it, then we press enter. Okay. And we've got the things we wanted. So we wanted to have names. However, as you can see, we also have the total value market. And this is due to the fact that pre-selected is the option where he shows that. So if we remove this tick here, you'll see that it disappears and we just have the names. Obviously, we can, if we want, add it back or we can also change it. And instead of the value of the market, so column D, we want maybe him to show us the total points. And we can also do that by pressing X value here in this format data label mini. Now, last thing, if you wanted to work on that so it looks a little bit nicer, you can remove this grid. So you just press on that and delete. Now we can do exactly the same thing for the uh, vertical lines. So we're almost there. We would also like to remove the outline. So you click on the whole plot area. Then you right click the mouse and you will see here that he has this option of outline color change. You press that and you select no outline. So in this way, we have a graph which looks as if it was embedded in the whole chart and it's a part of the whole sheet. So this is how you can do this sort of graphs. Have a look at that and play on your own with the graph. We can also work further on the look and feel by changing the size of the numbers and also making them a little bit bold, for example, and so on and so forth. But this is something you can do on your own.